in Tagalog. I hope you don't mind it, but but the, uh, but the introduction will be in English, okay? So I'll, I'm going to read this one. We gather today to welcome the lunar calendar. Though it happened two days ago, but I choose to coincide this event on the 14th of February as the whole world celebrates the Valentine's Day, which people observe with their special loved ones as we honor some individuals who choose to dedicate themselves in reconnecting their lives to the ancient ways of healing of our Filipino ancestor, and they are Locayo Australia, Bernice Bel de la Cruz, Micaela Ines Eileen Sander, napakahaba, <laughs> and Christine Tiano Lipat. Actually, at the beginning of this pandemic, I thought that the ancient healing tradition of our ancestor will end as the coronavirus moved faster throughout the globe that it made most of the world government leaders to implement a travel ban and physical distancing policy in order to control the spread of the sad virus worldwide. With that action being taken by our government leaders, Filipino in diaspora cannot come back to the Philippines where learning the sacred healing tradition requires face-to-face -face initiation through apprenticeship program. So actually, talaga, before it this happened, no. Welcome, Bernice. <laughs> ah, yeah. So we just started, no. So actually, at the beginning of this pandemic, because before, uh, it needs face-to-face -face interaction, no? such as what our ancestors do on a press, uh, apprenticeship program. So with that action being taken by our government leaders. Filipinos in diaspora cannot come back to the Philippines where learning the sacred healing tradition requires face-to-face -face initiation through apprenticeship program. Like our ancestors who have passed their knowledge of healing orally, Hilot Academy do the same in passing the sacred healing traditions to our students. At the height of pandemic on March, April, and May, we spend our time in prayer and meditation to ask the Diwata, Encanto, and Anito to make us pass this through the challenges that all living souls have received. As we do this global healing devotion, our Abyan, Gabay, and Pintakasi have come to us and remind us the power of Hilot in giving healing to the world. It reminds us that our healing modality does not only affect the physical health, but as well as the emotional, mental, social, and spiritual health. They also remind us that illness does not only come physically, but also it can manifest on the emotion and the mind. Through this, we have developed this new training program that we called as Non-Contact Hilot Mind and Spirit Working that will receive the ancient role of the Babaylan, which is the art of pag-anituhan, pag, uh, pag Pangatauhan or pangotanahan. So it's all the same, no? This role of Hilot Binabailan is equally important on all healing skills as this role makes sure to determine the cause of an illness so that proper treatment procedures can be applied. And with this, I call upon your higher and lower selves to be with me as we start this initiation and dedication ritual. So let me start this ritual with a calling. Magsaya at tumawit, magbuni at magpuri, kagalakan ay hatid sa pinagpalang bilog ay makakami. Sumigaw at humiyaw, mahikay ipagdiwang, kahilingan ay makakamtan sa pinagpalang bilog ay iyong ilaan. Kapangyarihan mong taglay, dulot nito sa iyong buhay, panawagan kong hatid sa iyo ngayon ipababati. Dinggin ang panawagan sa mga pinagpalang hirang, ang mga kautusan sa pagdiriwang kailanman ay di dapat bawasan. Sa pinagpalang bilog, doon tayo manahan. Kasiyahan, 
at kahilingan sa loob ng bilog ay pagdiwang. Pagtitiwala at pagpapasakop ay karapat dapat na ikaloob. Buong pusong pagmamahal at walang maliw na pagtitiwala sa buong madla ay dapat ihandog. Sa pagpasok sa bilog na way laging tandaan, pagpapaubaya ng puso, isip at kaluluwa ay dapat ilaan upang ang pagpapala ng kapangyarihan ay ating makamtan. Sa inyong pagdiriwang kasabihan ay tandaan kung ano ang itinanim ay siya rin aanihin sa ating paglisan. Kautusan ay igalang anumang nakita, narinig at naramdaman sa loob ng bilog, lahat ay iyong iwan. Masayang nagkatipon-tipon, masayang lilisan sa bilog na pinagpala, ay masayang muling magkikita-kita. Ngayon, um, I want you to, to repeat after me. Ako, Ako ay binabailan ng lunti ang agama. Ay binabailan ng lunti ang agama. Correct. Anak ng mga anito. Anak ng mga anito. Encanto. Encanto. At diwata. At diwata. Ako. Ako. Ay sisidlan. Ay sisidlan. Ng mga lihim. Na, na mga lihim. Na karunungan. Na karunungan. Hiwaga. Hiwaga. At kababalaghan. At Ka- kab- Han. That's right. Kapangyarihan ko Kapangyarihan ko ay karunungan. Ay karunungan. Karun, karun, karunungan. That's, that's, that's okay. That's all right. At kaalaman. At kaalaman. <laughs> na siya. Na siya. Kung laging. Kung laging. Pag-iingatan. Pag-iingatan. Sa kapakinabang. Sa kapakin. Okay. This will be very kapakinabangan kapakilabangan ng marami ng marami ito ito ay aming ay aming ilalaan ilalaan sa oras sa oras ng pangangailangan ng pangalay naman <laughs> Okay that's right siya aming siya aming Sandigan. Sa Sandigan. Sandigan. At maging at maging sa kalungkutan sa kalungkutan ay sarin ay sarin mang-aaliw mang-aaliw na nagbibigay na nagbibigay ng lubos ng lubos na kaligayahan na kaligayahan Kaligayahan. <laughs> Kaligayahan. That's right. Okay. Kapangyarihan. Kapangyarihan. Ay lumalakas. Ay lumalakas. Sa pagyabong. Sa, sa pagyabong. Nang kaalaman. Nang kaalaman. At kamangmangan. At kamangmangan. Ang napapala. Ang napapala. Ng mga taong. Ng mga taong. Pabaya. Pabaya. Sa pagtitipon. Sa pag... Titipon. Pagtitipon. Ng mga... Ng mga... Lunti ang agama. Lunti ang agama. Ilalaan. Ilalaan. Ang lubos. Ang lubos. Na pagpapahalaga. Ta... La, ta... Pag... Pa... Pa... Halaga. Halaga. <laughs> Pagkat... Pagka, katuparan, katuparan, ng kahilingan, ng kahilingan, at pagpapala, ang pagpapala, ng kapangyarihan, ng, ng kapangyarihan, ay ating, ay ating, tunay, tunay, na matatamasa, na matatamasa, ang buhay, ang buhay, ng isang binabaylan, ang isang binabailan ay lubos ay lubos na pinagpapala nagpinapapala sapagkat sapagkat ang dugo ang dugo sa aking dugo sa aking dugo laman naman sa aking laman sa aking laman buto ito sa aking buto sa aking buto dungan dunga 
sa aking dungan aking dungan ay nagkakaisa ay nagkakaisa kasama kasama ng mga anito ng mga anito engkanto engkanto at diwata diwata sa loob sa loob ng luntiang agama ng luntiang agama mayari na mayari na magbaya so now i'm going to cleanse all your name As in, ikaw na nilalang ang dakilang kapangyaring lumika, ikaw ay nililinis ko mula sa iyong karumihan at kasamaan na sumayo at sa pamagitan ng dakilang kapangyarihan. Ikaw ay inatasan ko na mo ang iyong katungkulan na baklasin ang kasamaan at panumbalikin ang kakinahawaan at sigla ng buong sansinukuban. Tubig, ikaw ay nilalang ng dakilang kapangyarihan lumika. Ikaw ay nililinis ko mula sa iyong karumihan at kasamaan na sama sa iyo at sa pamagitan ng dakilang kapangyarihan, ikaw ay natasan ko na gawin mo ang iyong katungkulan na linisin at padalisayan ang lahat na nilalang ng dakilang kapangyarihan lumikha. Mayari na. Ang asin ay dalisay, ang tubig ay dalisay, sa pamagitan ng dakilang kapangyarihan lumikha, ikaw ay aking pinagpapala at inaatasan ng tungkulin sa iyo ay inatas ng dakilang kapangyarihang lumika na baklasin ang lahat ng anyo ng kasamaan at dalisayan ng lahat ng sanilika at panumbalikin ng sigla at kinhawa ng lahat ng buhay na kaluluwa. Ayari na o dakilang kapangyarihan inyong linisin ang buhay at kaluluwa ni Lokayo Faye. ni Bernice Ibal de la Cruz, ni Michelle Aileen, at ni Christine Tiano Lipat. Wala <laughs> Apo ay nawalang hanggan, liwanag mula sa kaitaasan, dinggi ng panawagan ng iyong mga anak na pinagpala mong hirang. Apo ay nawalang hanggan, liwanag na mula sa kanununuan, patnubay mo at gabay, pagpapalat biyaya mo sa aming buhay ngayon ay kailangan. Apo ay nawalang hanggan, ningning mo at kariktan, magningas sa aming buhay ngayon at magpakailanman. Sa pamagitan ng dakilang kapangyarihang lumikha, sinasamo ko ang iyong dakilang kamalayan at mababang kamuntahan o mga banal na kaluluan na hinirang ng Panginoong may kapal, Lokayo, Bernice, Michaela, Christine, makaisa sa panawagan na luwalatiin ang dakilang kapangyarihan sa inyong buhay at tanggapin ninyo ang tungkulin inaatas na maging pangatauhan at hilot binabaylan. Luwalhati Luwalhati 
Luwal hati at parangal sa dakilan. Kapangyarihan na lumikhang sa atin at sa buo. Saan sinukuban? Ikaw na dakilang kapangyarihan. Hari ng buong saan sinukuban. Panginoong may kapal. Dinggin mo ang panawagan ng mga anak mong pinagpalang hirang. Ikaw na Panginoon at hari ng buhay at kamatayan. Kami sa iyo ay sumasamo. O Panginoon ng kay taasan, Panginoon ng kay babawan, at Panginoon ng kay laliman, kami ay iyong pakinggan. O Hari ng mga diwata, Hari ng mga anito, Hari ng mga engkanto, at Hari ng lahat ng mga kaluluwa, kami sa iyo ay sumasamo. O Panginoon, at hari ng hilagaan. Kapangyarihan mo ay lupa. Tingin mo ang aming panawagan. O Panginoon, at hari ng silanganan, kapangyarihan mo ay hangin. Kami ay iyong pakinggan. O Panginoon, at hari ng katimugan, Kapangyarihan mo ay apoy, dinggin mo ang aming panawagan. O Panginoon at Hari ng Kanluran, kapangyarihan mo ay tubig, dinggin mo ang aming panawagan. Sa pagkakataong ito, tanggapin mo ang aming alay na papuri at pasasalamat alang-alang sa iyong kadakilaan na kami ay inyong sinamahan at pinatnubayan upang ipagkaloob ang karunungan ng hilot binabaylan inalalokayo Bernice, Micaela at Christine. O dakilang ang po nagsalad, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang ananggolay, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang anlaban, bago at sirinan, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang bagatulayan, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang bathala, luwalhati at parangal ay sumayo. O dakilang bulan la magwaw at kadaw la sambad, luwalhati at parangal ay sumayo. O dakilang kabunyan, luwalhati at parangal ay sumayo. O dakilang kanlaon, luwalhati at parangal ay sumayo. O dakilang kaptan, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang dadanhayan hasugay, magbabaya at tayabun. Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang diwata ng kagubatan, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang diwata sa langit, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang delan at milag, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang gamhanan, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang gugurang, 
luwalhati at parangalay sumayo o dakilang guto-gutumakan luwalhati at parangalay sumayo o dakilang iraya luwalhati at parangalay sumayo o dakilang lumawig luwalhati at parangalay sumayo O dakilang mahal na makaaku, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang malaon at makapatag, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang manama, ug pamalok manobo, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang mangetsay, Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang may ari. Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang magbabaya. Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang melu. Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang minaden, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang mangindusa, polo, sedemunadog at tabi akulot, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang nanolay, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang kaganlang, Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang tagbusan, makalindog at dagaw. Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang tahaw. Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang tungkong langit. Luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang umbutuhan at dayang-dayang mangilay, luwalhati at parangalay sumayo. O dakilang kapangyarihan, aming Panginoong may kapal, luwalhatiin mo ang iyong mga anak tulad ng pagluwalhati mo namin sa iyo. Sa pagkakataong ito ay aming inilalapit sa inyong harapan ang mga kaluluwa ni Lucayo, Bernice, Michelle at Christine upang inyong pagpalain at itadalaga sa katungkulan bilang mga pangatauhan ng mga hilot binabaylan na kanilang gamitin ng karunungan na ibinahagi ng iyong lingkod na punong babaylan sa inyong dambana na luntang agama upang may pagpatuloy nilang palaganapin ang katuruan ng pangangalaga ng kalusugan di lamang sa aming katawang lupa ngunit gayon din sa buong santinakpan. Lupa hangin ala tubig ilaga silangan timbol kan luhuran ka ilaliman ka itaasan ka pangyarihan tarap imbabahawin tao Pagpalahi And we have called upon the council of the Diwata the Diwata from all the tribes that can be found here in our, our country and today let us remember let us remember no the reason why you have come here and i will 
allow me allow me to read something what you have said to me when you are uh, uh, connecting no? reconnecting to us so i will start with you lokayo do you remember the reason why you you uh, know you want to take the hewlett online training and lokayo have said Hewlett is part of my paternal lineage gift and also other healers have seen me in dreams practicing Hewlett and that is my path to get training from other than my father and auntie. So I hope this is still fresh in your mind, Lokayo. No? Um, may I ask okay. you, uh, after the training that we have, so how, how, how would you describe the whole the whole session that we had supposedly it was eight days pero i've learned na minsan yeah i've learned it could extend eight months not eight months no three months or more diba? how was your experience with this um i felt that i really got to you know be part of um a community um that I got to uh, reconnect with my culture, um, not like through language as well as through our traditions. And just also, you know, got a taste of home through all your videos because <laughs> I really wish that I could go <laughs> to the Philippines and learn in person. But at least, you know, I got to hear you and the dogs and the roosters. <laughs> and now even the tricycle and the jeepneys, right? Yeah. <laughs> And I got to see all the beautiful tropical plants that I miss so much. Um, yeah, so it was it was very like, and I think my experience too is that you you know you as a teacher and the whole teaching team are so humble, are so open to learning. Even even when I had some critiques about some of the teaching plan, people were so open to to hearing those critiques, and then also the diversity and the acceptance of like you know, gender identity and sexuality and the teaching team um, is something that I really cherish and that um, I, I really look forward to in learning. It's difficult to find Arbolario in the Philippines, you know, mm -hmm. that, that, really, that really will accept that instead of ignore that and that will incorporate that in the teachings of, of why we have these gifts and, and like, and part of, you know, our gift to humanity, you know? Yes, that's right. No, and in the return, I learned so much also, no, from you. Na um, actually, that that is hard for for us as Filipino because we don't usually use pronouns, no. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm trying to adjust for with that, no. Pero and then at the same time, it's about the discrimination issues because during that time, talaga is the Black Lives Matter, di ba? Parang mm -hmm. when you the time that you entered the academy, talagang yung Black Lives Matter, the discrimination part is is boom in the U.S. and all around the world has been moved, de ba, to protect our own culture. And uh, through your inspiration, de ba, parang I, I learned it's not only on human lives that need healing, but also I think we have to do our part on research on healing. Our literature, our literature, mm -hmm. then, even the literature that we have are colonized, no? uh, and the one who write our own history is a foreign. Although we are thankful that they initiate that research, but we 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 have to be vigilant on on seeing uh, their ter terminologies that might not be wrong. So at least it's nice that if we have this interaction with other people you now with the with with the old people of conducting research talaga you go to places and talk to them is you might get the first hand experience of the people mm -hmm. to record their history and i hope we could uh, do that very soon but now through online we are still uh, making it possible so thank you, Lucayo, for your sharing. And now, talagang isa-isa kayo, no? Bernice, it's your turn. So the time that I received Bernice, no, the application is June 28th. And she said that uh, Bernice wants to develop 
uh, the spiritual gift I have and ground them in my ancestry. Do you think that learning this uh, course, Bernice, help you develop your spiritual gift? I, th I think more than, because I, I have I've come to realize that um, whatever spiritual gifts that I have are, are already quite strong. It's just that I didn't have the confidence to actually allow myself to uh, use it for, like, to help people. Like, I always doubt myself. So um, in, in learning um, through, through you, like, it, it's more of, like, it's like it's more of like an affirmative thing like it's kind of like how like I, I i'm not sure how to um articulate it but it's very much so more empowering me to be more confident in myself and kind of like manage to shed all the internalized racism all the um uh, the timidity through learning like the terminology for um, things that I have been exposed to through, um, because uh, um, most of the time I've been learning through like more Western esotericism. So actually mm -hmm. grounding it within like what is in my bones was really, really, um, was the turning point for me. Wow. So for that, I'm, I'm really grateful. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your experience. Although uh, since Lucayo and Bernice were the first uh, two persons that uh, responded to the call of the Dewata. Honestly, I, I, I tell it, I rely to the Dewata, talaga. I rely to the Dewata, the continuation of Hilot Academy. And the, the first responder is Lucayo and Bernice. No? And the, their, their work, uh, the, their work uh, on the class really inspired me because sabi ko, yeah, why not? It can be parang uh, like what you said, Bernice, that it is, the, the work where we are doing is affirmative. And for me also, it is affirmative also that it is possible to conduct healing distantly by the work of, of tawas. No? Parang yung, diba, you, for example, you do tawas, you make a report, written report, all of you, you make written report, uh, and then at the same time, video recording. Sabi ko, yes, even distant, you can make record and send it to people. No? So parang it help you to work even though there is no there are limitation on on face to face interaction. So we can still connect with other people. Yeah, we spend more time on internet and why use why not we use the internet this technology to connect with other people. So thank you dal kasi parang honestly I'm not that knowledgeable on 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 this no on on internet. I am talkative given fact na yan, no? uh, especially on the topic of, of interest such as hilot and Philippine spirituality I'm talking pero yung using technology eh, pe, parang uh, slow pa ako dyan. I am slow on, on learning this but through you yung patience you then and every one of you gave patience on me on on, on doing this class uh, I, I really appreciate that so next thank you Bernice and let's go to Although I, I really find it difficult to to uh, no, to to mention her name, Michaela, Michela, but she is Kai. Na Kailing ba? Kaila, diba? So Kaila have said on on her enrollment form, ito. Sabe, why do you want to take Hilot online training? Sabe, my grandmother is a Filipino and her grandmother was a Hilot. I want to continue the family tradition, especially now that my grandma has passed on. So it was very sad. No, it's a way of reconnecting. But how are you after the training? Um, I I also feel more more grounded, just like uh, Bernice and Lucayo. Um, I feel a. Uh, I guess more confident, you know, like mm -hmm. I feel like something is mine and it's not something that I'm appropriating. So that was, that was what was beautiful to me. And it felt like I knew it. It felt like it was home to me already. 
Wow, thank you for that. I, I, I'm asking Lakay. Lakay now is my technical director for technicalities. So, nasa backstage siya. Wow, backstage daw, no? So, thank you, Lakay, for the ventilator. It's getting hot in here, whereas in your place, it's very cold. So, yeah, thank you, no? Thank you, Del, kasi um, we talk a lot uh, during the conversation. And I all, from, from, from the experiences and from the questions, no, parang... Uh, Uh, on my part, as I learned from you, now we can overcome the limitations by by using the resources. Now, through your questions, I got some assignments also to do uh, to to research more. Now, para nakaroon ng expansion ang knowledge ko through the encouragement to through the encouragement of everyone, of course. Now, so thank you, Kyla, for for your response. And now, finally. We, Let, let's go to Lipat Bay <laughs> to Doc Chris to Doc Chris no Doc Chris have mentioned I think uh, let me see eight that is August no uh, I received the application form of Doc Chris and she and he said that I have been practicing in teaching Reiki since 2004 but in the last couple of years in practice I have been channeling more and moving more from balancing energies on a physical level to treating more on a spiritual level. I am feeling increasingly Catalan inspired and would love to dwell more into my ancestral heal healing roots. No? And if you want to know more about Dr. Chris' response, um, meron siyang book. Ano tawag nga ulit yung book mo? Dahil kasi when I read it, parang you explain your journey why you want to become a hilote. So parang that book explains a lot of, of your desire to reconnect. But how are you today, Doc, please? Um, yeah, same with everybody else in terms of feeling more grounded. You know, for me, you know, my parents came to the U.S. as um, medical professionals. So when growing up, you know, they never referred to any superstitions or any you know, um, diwata or any gods. So, um, so, but I felt the calling, right, at this late later age to really reconnect. Um, and so I feel like the Hilot class really helped me to do that. You know, I, I mean, I see, you know, um, the names of the gods and I, but, you know, to actually connect with them, I feel like this class really helped me to do that more, um, you know, and, and to, feel more grounded in in um, my culture um, and in, I think, you know, an ancestral Hilot heritage as well that's maybe further back, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's not, that we're not aware of, but I feel that it's definitely there and that it's just, again, like Michaela said, I'm just remembering what's already there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just grateful to you that you were able to, you know, break through those barriers of language and, and you know, internet <laughs> to, um, to reach us. And I'm so grateful for that. Sorry for the neighbor's dog. <laughs> But, you know, thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, Doc, Chris, like, like what you have mentioned, parang sometimes if we work on our lower selves, The, our lo lower selves will think that we are limited. Pero as a reminder, the, the Diwata, the Pintakastis have reminded me, hey, Hilot is not just limited on physical body. Hilot can uh, uh, heal also the mind and the spirit. And according to Lakai uh, teaching, he said that sometimes before the physical illness came to our body, it started on the spiritual realms. So it means unseen, no? Though we have this limitation of seeing one another, that's how we formed the Hilot Online Training to go virtual, to go internet. And I think, I don't know, I, I, I believe that you have this power already. You have been chosen by the Dewata you know, of whatever names that resonate to you or either on the foreign god or whatever. But our local divinity, our local deities have called you into uh, to to serve in for service. No, um, it is ano, It's not just an ordinary uh, modality or certification uh, of practice. No, 
pero I believe that this is a sacred calling for you to take uh, to take uh, the role of pangat ni Tuhan or the one that uh, that nag-aanito no although in our culture diba the mag-aanito or pangat ni uh, pang anituhan are the one who consult with the spirit and relay relay to the people the message of the spirit so the, the whole course is about that no and and sometimes uh the our role can help establish a proper treatment procedure or cure for the people so that people will be returned into normal or restore their wellness health and wellness and and with this no probably i'll, I'll be sending off uh the script of this ritual read it uh read the messages and i'll gonna include also this video and this is just our graduation ceremony of knowing no but before we end this meeting i want also to ask you a final word of your vision of on your path five years to ten years from now i think lucayo is very established is establishing his his present every one of you know because because a member of the discord group niya hindi ako nakakapa hindi ako nakakapasok pero busy busy siya pero lucayo everyone no siguro i will ask you what you what will be your vision for hilot 10 years from now so this is a last word from each one of you lucayo can you give your words of your vision of hilot for 10 years from now well i hope to be working with like people back in filipinas in bicol and then with indigenous elders uh and first nations elders in canada in building healing retreats that incorporate healing in other modalities and working with other healers of color um and so that's been my long-term goal, goal maybe to start a retreat center or at least to offer these retreats and other shrines and healing centers that will have me there as a guest um yeah so that's what i'm really working towards thank you lucayo what about you bernice what how do you see yourself 10 years from now or for the entire Hilot Binabay land? Uh, you, um, currently, I actually feel called to uh, go towards research and uh, academia. Um, because, like, uh, from while, while studying under, under Lunti Anatama, I was actually also, like, researching all the um, pre-colonial um, beliefs and also the syncretism with Catholicism. Uh, in uh -huh. the Philippines now, so um, that has become like my little um, uh, special topic for myself, and I find it like really, um, it's, it's 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 I find it really amazing because um, no matter what we know um, the divine as, they all work towards, they all work with us, so it's really like I I do feel that I would want to um, explore this from the point of view of a of a of a Hilipina Bailan and not just a researcher because um I I do find that with uh, academic research um um academia tends to rely on a more materialist uh, point of view mm -hmm. but with like the the point of view of like a of a spiritual practitioner I think it will add like an added layer to it and this could also like uh, expand like the world view of uh, the general public so that is my in, um, initial uh, uh, view of what I'm going to do. But also, I've, I've realized that um, leading up towards uh, today, um, I was kind of like wondering, oh, what am I going to do? Because I don't have like a like an established healing um, um, center. Yeah, and I it's it's I'm very low key with all of these things on my own. But somehow, uh, leading up to the, today, I have a lot of friends suddenly asking me, "Hey, you do you do readings, right? I, I need help." <laughs> or and then I had I had one friend who suddenly out of nowhere asked me, "Oh, my house is I think something is in my house. Could you could you help me?" <laughs> so it, it's it's kind of 
it's again it's very affirm aff affirmative that like yeah you are on the right path you are meant to be in service so yeah so at this point um yeah that's that's what i that's that's what i think it's gonna gonna happen for me that's right that, that's a nice vision actually um i know no parang even on my part when i started i don't have actually this place is a former canteen a former carinderia then i have a small space at the other room that i i use only chair to heal so every time there is a peep person that comes so let's go on the kitchen sit down because here it's full of table of people eating so i just give them a small chair and i do it no and right now i think my place is if you go here you will see ah this this is not conducive for healing no parang imagine imagine ourselves we are all soldiers no soldiers and there we 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 are being sent off into a war into a battle there are so many bang 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 boom 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 guns and your companion needs healing how would you heal that person diba? you heal immediately you don't wait till the there is a ceasefire you heal immediately on the spot on a troubled area and find a good place so that that person will recover no siguro um yeah we have to train ourselves more to deal with with certain uh, emergency situation or or remember we are babaylan we don't we 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 are babaylan or binabaylan na as long as as our feet is connected to the ground literally we are all empowered and we can use whatever nature provide us no matter what so even uh that will maybe apply on on having a place though it's nice to have a center no uh to have a, a therapeutic environment for business or for whatever pero we are not limited on doing our job as silit binabaylan wherever we go we have water we have air we have earth we have fire the sunlight we could utilize all those things to work for us for good in giving good diba? so uh, i think that that is the the one that uh, could help you bernice to uh, no, kaya, uh, and i believe that people are coming back to our race or, or, or from being awakened to who we are so michelle do you have anything what what uh, what is your vision 10 years from now for us, for everyone, for you, or for the whole Hilo community? Um, for the Hilo community, I, I see us like, you know, more and more people wanting to take it online. Um, there's a woman who is a branding strategist that is Filipina. And when I told her and her team that you, uh train for Hilo online they wanted you know they wanted to know okay yeah give me the link Ooh. so i i see it growing and i i d i just don't think that you're ready for the people that will be coming um i myself would like to do my own apprenticeship of of Hilo training but I think I need to like spend like, you know, maybe like six months to like really be comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I've oh, been wow. incorporating. Um, I feel like I'm already really good with um, diagnosing different baths. So like I want to start with my strengths. Um, but yeah, I would love to start my own apprenticeship and read your book that you're going to write about it. <laughs> all of the, yeah, all of the Hilo books that I got before I took this training, one was about how they got it into the spa system. 
And mm -hmm. then the man who um, teaches a screamer very, that uh, was on very the floor. Uh -uh. Yes. I, I, you know, I chit chatted with him and direct message on Instagram. I'm like, can you teach me? And then all of his book is folklore. It's mm -hmm. not really, this is how you do this. And I think you are, you have the beginning of that. And I can't wait to buy it and read it. Actually, and yes. Uh, actually, there is. Now, Locayo on the chat room have, uh, have asked if, uh, if is there a next level training or a teacher training for Lunting Agama? I would love w when it comes to Lunting Agama, this is the priesthood. We have this Agamic ministry and divinity, divinity course. Although this, this aspect is just a level, no, uh, it's a partial course of, of, of learning the whole part, no, because we are consecrating that Agamic divinity. In order to become binabailangtala, no, binabailangtala. So this is to differentiate the priesthood of of the Catholic and other Western religion. Because, di ba, uh, babailan is the sham shamanic priest here. No, yun yung talagang title. Pag, but when it, when you introduce yourself to 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 other people na the Christian, Filipino, they will think if you are a priest, oh, I am a priest. Oh, your father, I know of the Catholic Church. They will think about that, no? Del kasi parang na coined na ang name, uh, ang term ng priest into the Catholic or to the Christians. Sabi ko, we are Filipino, we have our own term. So I, we have to do. Although uh, I'm trying to register a trademark of the Binabailan, and I'm, I'm so happy because the trade, uh, the trademark registration refused to register the word binabailan because they said uh, uh, it might cause confusion because babailan is a cultural thing. So I'm happy because this organization rejected us and I see their concern of protecting the word. No? Although, yeah, I really intend that the intention of, of using the word or registration registering the word binabailan is to protect the, the work of the babailan because there are groups that are using the word babailan in wrong concept in wrong concept no they're just wanting to use the term because it sounds powerful but their actions uh, are are funny or or desecrating the old ways no yes we have although um I'm not so strict about if you are going to teach what you have learned. You can do so, no? You can do so. You could share because what, uh, what, what, uh, would love the info for that branding stuff. Yon, sabi ni Doc Chris kay Mika. I thought uh, I hope you read that and um, Kyla, no. Uh, on my part, I'm not strict on that, no. Actually, that is just passing of knowledge. You can pass the knowledge what you have learned. And I'll be happy. Yes, the ancient Tagalog word is Catalan. Maybe that can be used. It can be. Pero ano, uh, Lucayo, uh, le let us try. I will try. Pero I, I sense that the word Catalonan, Mumbaki, and Babaylan are already protected. So somewhat I am relieved for that. No, So we can use that because uh, we are following the indigenous Path, so we don't want it to make exclusive for us only, no, exclusive for us. Pero ang problem ko lang, uh, the problem is how to make sita sita. What do you call that sita sita? How to tell those person not to use babayla or do not uh, parang how to tell the people that they are blaspheming the word babaylan Catalan and Mumbaki or what you call that in inappropriation, something like that, yung mga ganung bagay, no? So, yun, siguro, I, I'm just praying for the Diwata to, to help us, no? So, anyway, no, we still have one. Let's see, Doc Chris is also a busy one, yeah, appropriation, busy one, and also is making names and establishing Hilot through work, like, 
in her in his background merong baybayen and that was so great no doc chris so doc chris what is your vision 10 years from now of hilot gusto ko talaga doc chris yung ano yung work na yan <laughs> thank you <laughs> um yeah i would love to see that book um and a school um you know in the philippines but then also virtual too you know um yeah with certifications and everything that would be great um and yeah more and more people learning i think for me um you know i'm always following so i don't necessarily have a big 10 year plan um but you know what's what came through before and what i need to work on more now is kind of creating a, a kind of since Reiki is my background, but incorporating the um, bye bye in, and I know mm -hmm. that you know, I learned the. the um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, with with um, Lukai. Um, so I want to build on that more um, for myself, um, the technique, and then. Um, yeah, there's just so much more to learn. Like I want to delve more into the herbal stuff. Um, yeah, you know, so I'm just. I'm just following and not making a huge, huge plans. <laughs> okay. So, ako naman, it's my turn. No? Thank you for that. Because, honestly, uh, as I work with you, I really, uh, the, the need to revive Hilot, um, nagkaroon ng, uh, parang it increase. No? Through each one mind, parang it opens vision of, what how, what to revive what to to pull up again no um the immediate is 2022 uh i hope i hope i hope we could because the former depart i i don't know if i mentioned this the former department of tourism secretary mina gabor have contacted us and there is an international ecotourism festival that will that is going to happen by 2022 and she have shown us the place that where where our new office will be so new office pero it's not hilot academy but it's hilot philippines development center so it's coming soon no? we are working out kaya nga lang uh, we asked, she asked me, so what will happen to Hilut Academy? Sabi ko, let me tell you my answer soon. And now I realize I could not leave this Hilut Academy because I, uh, Hilut Academy is a seminary of Luntinga Gama. So on the Hilut, Deve Hilut Philippines Development Center, that will be, uh, no, that will be, Yes, I you you will you will be kasi ito na yung sasabihin ko my next vision the vision of you is you will become teachers because I want you uh I I don't know kanino ko to sinabi but on I mean, soon I will gather all the graduates either virtually that's the reason why I think you've been included sa Hilot towards the heart I will send you an email no and I have some interview questions there because I am planning that every one of you will become a Hilo teacher or no, it's not teacher, ang tawag dun eh. I think mentor. Uh, because for me, I self, I, I cannot, I don't know, I'm not comfortable of, of teacher, eh. uh, calling myself a teacher. Siguro, basta, whatever terms, no? Because what I do is just share to you, no? And assist you, what I have. Pero what I uh, my vision is ano with uh, my my vision is all my graduates can assist other people learning. No, siguro I don't know if this is a business plan or whatever. Like like Verma, if you know Verma, no, uh, Verma Sapanta have taken this uh, two course with us, a mastery course on. Uh, on hilot fertility hilot at saka on a specific part no uh, and then she she asked me if i she could share sabi ko yes you could share other 
kaya nagte-train ng mga uh, uh, Verma is speaking her experiences. Actually, it's not naman a competition or or, or disgrace for us. It will be uh, it we will gain more honor if you work towards your goal introducing Hilot no. So I envision you that. Pero with with regards to that sir, sir if 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 it will help you if it will help you to have a cert, a, cert, a teacher certification no in my previous organization in Philippine Japan Hilot Association I have this uh trainer certification no pero in, Iniisip ko pa if, if that can be applied. Siguro convince me. Convince me kung applicable yon. Because as hilot kasi, technically, we are teachers. The last part of the hilot is T, which is teaching or trust. Marami. No? Uh, uh, diba? We, we tell that ano, we are not the healers. We are only the facilitator or channel of healing. And most of the time that we do, we assist and teach people how to live their life. So that means you are teacher already of Hilot when you become a Hilot Binabailan. But of course, I want you to invite Paren to learn the body work techniques of Hilot. No? Uh, very soon, pero hindi ko pa alam if, if that could be possible doing online. No? Uh, let us see uh, kung saan tayo dadalin. Then since you are still part of the group of the continuing studies i i am finishing that module uh, although i gave you all, already the 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 module no uh, the work of the book pero yung mga video material instructional materials like the video uh, i'm going to send still either i don't know kasi kung nagwo-work yung band.us Pero siguro mas maganda kung email. I don't know eh. I, I'm still confused on using this technology. Pero it seems na, yeah, we can do more videos of the work we do. Yeah, you can do, no? Pero what I'm thinking is, uh, please answer those, those uh, the hilot towards the heart. Bring me your, uh, give me your picture. Kasi I'll put that on my, on Hilot Academy website. Para people, if, if there, kasi yung Hilot Academy, maraming nagpupunta. So, parang meron silang reference of they need Hilot, they need some help, they could contact you in Hawaii, in, 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 in Singapore, in Canada, diba, in the US, para makontak ma nila kayo. But soon you will receive more emails from me asking you, kukulitin ko kayo. Na? So, um, after this, I'll gonna send your certificates, uh, virtual certificates. So, maraming maraming salamat. And the ritual will be included. And from from this day, as you read the, the ritual, um, find merong name of God that will resonate. Baka merong, uh, you, you read the ritual na sinulat natin. And from that ritual, Merong name of God that will resonate to you and let me know. Then we will conduct another ritual for the naming ritual. Okay? So, ma thank you for time, Lokayo. Sleep well. And everyone, have your dinner. Bernice, let's take a lunch. Gugurang mapulos. Gugurang mapulos. Ayari na. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy lunch and happy dinner. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.